Sports. It's in the game. It's the World Cup Final coming up live on EA TV. Hello and welcome to a contest of colossal meaning. We find ourselves here just to the north of the Doha city centre, ahead of the 2022 World Cup Final. My name is Derek Ray, and with me to provide expert analysis is Stuart Robson. And as you can imagine on this occasion, the atmosphere is building up nicely. It's Argentina versus France. Well, what an occasion for these two sets of players. A chance to be world champions. Let's hope the game matches the atmosphere. It should be an absolute cracker. I can't wait for this to start. The Argentina first team. Well, they're starting with an attacking 4-5-1 formation with three players in advance of two holding midfielders. But it's important that the wide players come in field to join the centre forward at the right time. Here's the side France will go with. Hugo Lloris is the goalkeeper. Rafael Varane plays with Dayo Ibamecano in central defence. Kylian Mbappe plays with Ousmane Dembele out wide. And leading the line today, Olivier Giroud. And so the match is underway. Well, totally confused as opponent. Untidy on the ball. Delightful pass. Just witnessed the first goal of this 2022 World Cup final. One to Saber. Well, here's the goal again, and what a wonderfully weighted pass this is. And what a clever bit of play it was from Messi, both with his movement and his finish. That's a nice goal. France get the ball moving again. Can they come up with an answer here? Interception to snuff out the danger. He's in here. And another one! Two quick goals! Will it turn out to be the two punch knockout? Well, just look at the defending here. The keeper is left totally exposed. It's an easy goal in the end, but well taken. Goal. So the ball rolling again at 2-0. Yeah. 
Well, the pass not finding its target. Messi. Safe pair of hands, did his job. Tremendous intuition to win it back. And a throw in here for France. And the referee allowing advantage to accrue to them. But had to blow the whistle that time. Free kick it's going to be. Mbappe. A bit wasteful from France. Can they do something positive on the counter-attack? Messi. Being egged on by the crowd. And it's a double for him in this game. No way for the opposition to contain him. And no wonder he's off celebrating. Well, here it is again, and the pace in which they break forward is devastating. It's so hard to defend against, and when he gets onto it, he holds off the challenge, keeps his balance, and makes good contact with the ball. That's a top-class finish. Three goals without reply. Difficult to stop him, but a good piece of defending to bring it to an end. Messi takes the shot and rattling the post. Oh, fine play, and maybe it'll set something up. Oh, good work by the keeper. Fired over by Messi. Really closing him down. Read it superbly to take back possession. Taglia Fico. A glorious chance. A goal! How about that? He's put it away to make it a hat trick. Well, it's a very simple finish in the end, but his movement was really good. He just found himself a bit of space in the box when it mattered most. And this is turning into something of a rout. 4-0. a really good run but no damage done that's the main thing counter attacking very much an option Lionel Messi and he's lost custody of the ball here in there by Di Maria Well, let's see this again. He tries to run out with the ball. He has the ball taken off of him. He's made the wrong decision. And suddenly the ball's in the back of the net. Terrible defending. Let's 
blistering first half display and just look at that score good effort here well it ended up being easier for the goalkeeper in the end he's in control of the situation and France did well to win it back And it's a really poor challenge. Now, what's the referee going to do about it? Well, the card is out, and it's yellow. Yeah, it's clumsy, and it's late. Definitely a yellow card. Olivier Giroud. Just the challenge that was required. A chopping challenge, and the referee has got to have a big think about it. Well, a yellow card it is, and not too many complaints. No, he can't argue with that. He's been warned. And the referee blows for a foul. Well, he can consider himself admonished, even in the absence of a yellow card. Good work from Argentina to win it back. This might be the perfect counter-attacking opportunity. Can they take advantage of the situation? Great opportunity! And the keeper nowhere to be found. Not that he's complaining. Well, as you can see, the defending is really poor, but he won't mind. It's a simple finish for him. Well, that's an out-and-out pasting. 6-0. And Messi's incisive pass. There wasn't much in that offside decision. Could have been in business. Sustained pressure and they have the ball now. An unforced error, you've got to say. Messi. Well, the fans really want him to shoot. Well, being pressed here. There to take it away. Messi. Well, if you make your move too early, you're always in danger of being ruled offside. The first half here comes to an end. Delightful pass.
The second half commences. It was such a one-sided first half. Might it be different this time round? Lovely work to get past his man. Chance to finish. Tries to lift it. And the goalkeeper's touch, that was crucial. A chance for them to provide a test in the form of a corner. Fired over by Messi. Well, they had a decent reading of that ball in. In position. And the keeper's in trouble. Oh, how about that for a chip? Savour it. Pure brilliance. Well, here it is again, and just look how he turns away from his marker and then gets his shot away. That's a very good goal, you have to say. To play and they might be onto something. Enzo Fernandez. And the counter looks on here. Options available. Strong but fair tackle. And mopping up defensively. That's very... In with a chance! And just offside, but by a whisker, my goodness. Giroud. He read the situation defensively and did his job. A oh, terrific pass. He's just got to continue his run. Oh, it's mischievous. Oh, we have just witnessed a special moment. Pure quality. Let's have a look at the replay. What a through ball this is by Di Maria. And the finish is so clever. He just gets his toe under the ball and beats it over the keeper. That's a lovely goal. Goal for Argentina. Well, he's lost the ball. That's a good looking ball. Chance for Di Maria. Trying to lob the keeper. Well, a lovely chip, and it had a chance. Well, it's a really good effort, but he just can't get it underneath the crossbar. Well, as those stats tell us, their attacking play today has been exceptional. Defenders have come out at the right time, the midfielder completely dominated the game, and the front player's movement has been excellent. And intercepted it. And the advantage accrues to the attacking side. Can they hit on the break? Griezmann. Well, it was a superb counter-attack, but no goal. Yeah, really good play. Won the ball back well and then countered with great speed. That deserved a goal. Uh, making the substitution now.
Gonzalo Montiel. This looks promising. He succeeds in clearing it. Good physical play. And unable to keep possession. It's a good-looking ball in behind. Tries to lift it. Oh, that is a moment of pure quality. A goal for football lovers to enjoy the world over. Well, let's have a look at this pass from Di Maria. He has so much vision, and the finish showed great composure. Just to lift it over the goalkeeper. That's a lovely goal. to the final 20 minutes high pressing at its best Upamecano good tackle take it away and beating the defender and pretty routine for the goalkeeper Unable to keep the ball. Plenty of support here. And the referee felt he had to blow the whistle. And he gets away with a warning here. In my view, that's good refereeing. Strong, but not officious. And he's given us away. Can they do something positive on the counter-attack? Defenders need to cover. Effort from long distance. And the keeper had the measure of that one. And France come away with it. Griezmann. Giroud and in with a real chance and the keeper has denied him well I've got to say Derek he was always in control of that situation brilliant stuff and short it is Mbappe. Oh, great defending. Now, counter-attacking possibilities here. Do they have the guile to up and up the defence? And fine goalkeeping. Well, sensible refereeing, you might say. Now he goes back and hands out the yellow card, Stuart. Yeah, that's very good. He let the play continue and then came back for the earlier challenge. Messi with the corner. Messi. And teammates around him. And the body in the way. No nonsense clearance. Perfectly positioned to take it away. Oh, good vision. attacking football at its finest
Well, let's see this again. He tries to run out with the ball. He has the ball taken off of him. He's made the wrong decision. And suddenly the ball's in the back of the net. Terrible defending. Not what he was intending. Bad pass. Well, beating his opponent. Making sure it didn't get past him. And this might not be the ideal situation for them. Oh, and it goes! Now he has his hat-trick. A special moment for him. Well, let's take another look. If you lose the ball in those areas, you're going to get punished. And that's exactly what happened there. Well, failure to keep the ball by Argentina. Now, what can Lionel Messi do from here? It's still alive. And there goes the final whistle. For the third time in history, Argentina have won the World Cup. And I have to say, Derek, they've been the best team in the tournament. There's no doubt about that. Argentina, world champions! They did it in 1978 and 1986. They've done it again in 2022, Stuart. Well, this is the pinnacle of any footballer's career and what a night it's been for these players and the coaching staff and, of course, the fans. Can they take advantage of the situation? And the keep.